Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Collector's Edition 101. Class is now in session. So last time we hammered out about five boxes of PSA graded cards. We saw everything from the Legendary Dog Gold Stars to Original EXs to all sorts of crazy cool things from the Crystals. Um, just so many really cool vintage cards, Legendary Collection, Reverse Hollows, all this stuff. So, what we are doing now is we are continuing on in that series, and we have another four to five boxes to get through today, so we're going to be going pretty quick here. Um, a lot of really cool stuff in this next round, so I'm excited to show off a lot of it. Starting with Banette, near Mint 7, from EX Crystal Guardians. Blastoise, coming in at a near Mint 8. From Crystal Guardians as well, Reverse Hollow. So a cool thing about Crystal Guardians that not a lot of uh, people knew about is that they had a lot of really cool Pokemon, kind of like backtracking to the Blastoise here, that went against their normal typing. As you know, Blastoise is traditionally a water Pokemon. However, in this set, they pushed him as a steel and fighting type. Uh, you're going to see a lot of those coming up, so it's really cool to see some of the weird wonky choices they decided to make. Um... Next up is Camerupt, coming at a 9. They didn't do anything kind of weird with him. Um, here's a big one, Charizard, near mint 9. They pushed him as a dark and electric type. Or nope, I apologize, steel and electric type. Um, really, really cool card. Beautiful reverse hollow. So the EX Crystal Guardians down there. Um, and in near mint 9, these cards can easily push $1,500 for this Charizard. Doug Trio came in at a 9 as well. Ludicolo, the normal traditional water type, came in at a 8.5 in fire typing. Love Disc came in at a near mint 9 as well. Manetric came in at a 9. Beautiful artwork, him howling up at that moon. Mawile came in at a 9 as well. Our next card is Sableye. This is one of my favorite artworks for Sableye, if I'm being honest. Um, him just kind of hiding out in that crystal cave, collecting some crystals and vibing. Um, came back an 8.5. Again, these 8.5s don't come up very often, actually. Um, and in fact, according to my notes here, uh, this is the only one in existence at the moment. Currently a population of one. So, if you want this cool, unique piece... You can find it on our site. It should be around close to $100 or so. Swallet. EX Crystal Guardians came in at an 8. Tauros Reverse Hollow came in at a 9. Wigglytuff came in at a Gym Mint 10. Blastoise came in at a 6. A little rough on that guy. Cacturn came in at a 5. Combuskin came in at a 9. Fighting type this time around for him. <coughs> Dustclops came in at a Gem Mint 10. Also really, really cool card. Love the artwork. Uh, Fero, Electric type, came in at a Near Mint 9. Here's a wonky pairing. Grovile. The grass type, now a psychic type, coming in at a six. Grumpig, the true psychic type, came back at a gem mint ten. Eagly buff <coughs> came in at a eight point five, which, like I said, these eight point fives can be kind of rare. Uh, according to my notes here, this is also another population one card. <coughs> Kingler came back a 9. Loudred, also a 9. Marsh Stomp came back an 8. And Metacham came back a 9. So, well, that's it for that little lot. We're going to move on to our next lot here in just a second. <coughs> So, next one we have is a Pelipper. Came back at an 8.5. Swampert, another 8.5. Uh, 
Big Venusaur here, near mint nine. Very impressive looking card from Crystal Guardians. Uh, this guy is also a lower population. He's around 51 population currently, according to my notes. Very, very cool card. Charmeleon came back at a six. Another Charmeleon here, but we have the electric type Charmeleon came back at a nine. <clears throat> Buskin at a nine as well. A beautiful, almost clay art style that I love so much. Uh, Grovile came back 8.5. Gulpin came back at a 9. He looks pretty sleepy, actually. Don't blame him. Looks like he's in the middle of a yawn. Ivasaur came back a 9 from the Crystal Guardian set. Oop. We have another Ivasaur, but this one came back at the Gem Mint 10. Very, very cool card. Another tidbit for about the Crystal Guardians is you'll also notice that almost every single card has some form of crystals in their artwork. Super cool little tidbit. Larion came back a 7. Lombre came back a 9. See, more crystals right there. Marstomp came back at a 9. Oh, you know what? I just put my own foot in my mouth. The only crystals are technically in the set symbol, which I don't think that counts. Nuzleaf came back a 9. Shuppet coming in at a 8.5. Let's see. Skitty came back a 9. And Wartortle also a 9 as well. Good solid stack of nines. Moving on through the Verse Hollows, we have a Gem Mint 10 War Turtle, a Gem Mint 10 Aeron, a Mint 9 Bulbasaur, another Mint 9 Bulbasaur, 9 on the Cacnea. Charmander getting a 9. Love this little guy. Looks so cute in this artwork. Those big bluish green eyes. Oh. We got our lightning type Charmander. Came back a 9. <clears throat> this by far is one of my all time favorite artworks in the entire trading card game, actually. <laughs> it is on this Diglett from Crystal Guardian. This one came back a 9. Looks like he just popped out of the ground, and a huge tidal wave is coming, and man, he looks worried. He's like, welp, I think I got the wrong house. Hopefully things worked out for that little guy. Dusko coming in at a 9. Electric came back at a gem at 10. Jigglypuff came back at a gem mint 10 as well. Krabby, Reverse Hollow, an 8-5. Lotad, Reverse Hollow, came back Gem Mint 10. It's kind of hiding amongst all those lily pads there. Kind of cool piece. Metatite, Gem Mint 10. Or do you like Mudkips? Gem Mint 10. Look how happy he looks. That is just adorable. Another Mudkip with some more beautiful crystal artwork here. Came in at a 9. And Numel came at a 9 as well. Beautiful looking card. If it wasn't for that little print line right down the middle, I have a feeling that probably would have been a 10. So, next up we have Dot coming in at a 9. Let's see, Spiro came in a 9 as well. Uh, next up we have Spoink, came in at a 9. Really cool little artwork on this guy. Just love that simple, very innocent looking style art. Squirtle came in at a 9 on this one. Pardon me while I get some of these 
loaded back in. I want to talk a little bit more about this next piece because I really like this uh, artwork on this guy. So we got this Squirtle from EX Crystal Guardians. Came back on nine. Super cool artwork. Uh, looks like he is surfing along the coast of a beach. Beautiful sunset in the background. Super cool looking artwork. Again, one of my all time favorites for this uh, Squirtle had to come from Crystal Guardians. Next up, we have Torchic, came in at a 9 as well. Another Torchic, came in at a 9. Trico, 9 on this guy as well. Got a Psychic type Trico here, came in at a 9. Wismer also came back at a 9. Wingle, gem mint 10 on this guy. Everyone's all flying around doing their thing, and he's just like, hey man, I just kind of want to chill here. Moving on to some of the trainers from the set. We have Bill's Maintenance, came back a 9. Castaway, also a 9. Thelio's Network, came back at a 8.5. Again, those 8.5s are such a weird number for PSA to give out. Don't see them too lot, um, but overall they're still pretty cool. Cessation Crystal came back at a nine, and Crystal Beach came back a nine as well. Super cool looking card. And that's gonna finish our first box of this next little bit here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move this box out of the way, grab another box here, and go through the next set. Alrighty, box 7 out of 10 in this series. Super excited for this. Especially since this one has a lot of goodies, I can already tell. So, first card up on this. Crystal Shard from Crystal Guardians. Double Full Heal. Came back a Gem Mint 10. Dual Ball came in at a 9. Again, that print line right there. I think that's what nailed us on that. I think we would have been Tanner. Hole in Circle. Gem Mint 10. Beautiful card. Memory Berry. Beautiful 9 on that one. Mysterious Shard came back a 9 as well. Pokeball. Rev Hollow came back an 8. Again, beautiful artwork on that Pokeball. Pokenav, Gem Mint 10. Awesome. Another 8.5 on the warp point here. Windstorm came back at a 9. Energy Search, Reverse Hollow, also a 9. Potion. Beautiful piece. Double Rainbow Energy, Near Mint, 9. Beautiful, beautiful card. Agron EX, 8.5. Now we're getting to some of the really cool stuff. The, uh, the EXs from Crystal Guardians. Blaziken EX came back at an 8. Not too bad. Delicati came back a 9. Explod EX came back a 9 as well. Awesome. Groudon EX came back a 9. So a lot of these EXs here are not super high up yet. Um, still really, really cool. Ah, uh, here's a beautiful piece. Jirachi EX Near Mint 8.5. Uh, currently at the time of this video, according to my notes, again, this is a population one card. No other 8.5s are in existence yet. So truly a beautiful and unique piece here. Kyogre EX from Crystal Guardians as well. Beautiful, beautiful card. That one got a 9. 
Deptile EX from Crystal Guardians. Also got a nine. Shift Tree EX Gem Mint 10. Beautiful, beautiful card. Super great looking card. Swampert EX got a nine. Very nice. Mm, beautiful cards here. We have a Alakazam Gold Star. Gorgeous card. Came back a seven. Very fantastic looking artwork still, though. And another gorgeous, unique card. Now, this is one that they actually have a little bit higher population on. Uh, as of the current timing of this video, there's a population nine on the Celebi Gold Star. Super cool thing, though, this has double swirls on it. So we got one swirl over here on the right, and there's actually another swirl that extends past the border. Super cool looking card. Uh, this guy is definitely up there in pricing still. Um, cl probably close to twelve, thirteen hundred. 1300 And that wraps up the EX Crystal Guardians. Now we're going to move on to EX Delta Species. Bunch of really cool cards in this set. And we're going to try and hammer through a bunch of them as fast as we can. So, first up, we got Beedrill. Uh, we got a Crobat. Came back a 9. This is a beautiful piece. Dragonite Gem Mint 10. Super cool card from EX Delta Species. This is another one of those sets where they did the uh, dual typing. Espeon Gem Mint 10. Very nice. Larion, Reverse Hollow, Near Mint 9. Beautiful, beautiful. Moving up next, we have Gardevoir at a Gem Mint 10 as well. Next up is Jolteon. Came back at an 8. Latias came back at a 9. Super cool card. Latios came back at a 9. Marowak, 8.5 on this guy. Another one of those really cool Population 1 cards. <coughs> Metagross, Gem Mint 10. Mewtwo, 7.5. Really cool looking card here. Not an 8.5. 7.5 on that one. Gem Mint 10 Rayquaza. Super beautiful looking card. Salamence came back at a 9. Let's see. We got Starmie. Came back a 9. Tyranitar, 7.5. Another population one. Umbreon, 8.5. Another population one card. Vaporeon, Gem Mint 10. Beautiful piece here. Complete those evolutions. Uh, Azumarill, Gem Mint 10. Uh, Azurl, Gem Mint 10 as well. Have a matching little set on those guys. Poland's Electrode, Gem Mint 10. This card is beautiful. Functioned as both a Pokemon and also a double rainbow energy back in the day. So if you had anything that could search out Pokemon, you effectively had a way to search out double rainbow energies, which is super cool. Um, same with the Holon's Magneton here. Hypno, Gem Mint 10. Mightyena, came back at an 8. Porygon 2 came back at an 8, and he looks pretty happy there. He's just kind of chilling and vibing, doing his own thing. That is the life. He is living it, guys. Alrighty, moving on to our next stack. We're going into Section 2 of Box 7. Going to be a lot more fun cards in this set. Let's keep on going. Raincast form at a Gem Mint 10. Sandslash at a 9. 
Slowking came back a 9 as well. No Cloud Cast Form came back a 9. Starmie Reverse Hollow came back a 9. Sunny Cast Form came back a 8.5. Swallow came back at a 9. Uh, Weezing, Gem Mint 10 on this guy. Cast Form, Gem Mint 10. Living the good life, chilling out in the field. You can see one of the uh, Holland Towers there in the background. Ditto, came back a 9. Super cool. And now we have the Ditto Imposter cards. Ditto Bulbasaur came back an 8. Ditto Charmander came back a 6. Ditto Mr. Mime, 8.5. Ditto Pikachu came back an 8. Ditto Squirtle came back at a 9. Dragonair came back at a 7.5. Another Dragonair came back at a Gem Min 10. Beautiful artwork on this card. I love this underwater vibe. Um, great effect of lighting coming from that upper right hand of, of the art. Golbat came back at 10. Another one of those Holen Towers in the background. Pokemon loves their lightning. Hariyama came back a 9. Illumise, Gem Mint 10, beautiful card. Also, apologies if I butchered that name. Kakuna, 8.5. Curlia, came back a 9. Magneton, Gem Mint 10, beautiful piece. Batang, 9 as well. This Persian came back a Gem Mint 10, super cool looking artwork. Jupiter came back a 9. Rapidash came back an 8. Shelgon came back a 8.5. One more Shelgon came back at an 8. Skarmory came back a 9. Again, fantastic use of lightning from Pokemon in the artwork. Volby, 8.5. Bagon came back a 9. Look at him doing like the little Naruto run. Go, little buddy, go. Super cool. Uh, this Bagon just kind of chilling. Once again, that Holon Tower in the background seems to be like the hide and seek of the set. Can find that kind of hiding in various artworks. Beldum came back a nine. Cubone came back a nine. Got some more dittos here. This one's a nine. This ditto came back a gem mint ten. This Pikachu ditto came back a nine. Got a Ditto Squirtle, came back a Gem Mint 10. Dratini, came back a Gem Mint 10. Got a 9 on this Dratini, which I like this artwork so much better. It's chilling under the uh, bridge there. Drowsy, came back at a 9. Some more lightning effects in the background here. Gem Mint 10 Eevee. Super cool. Love me some good Eevees. Especially with a lot of this really cool artwork. Like This one is just adorable. Came back a 7.5, but I think they should have given him an extra point for cuteness. Holland's Magnemite came back at an 8. Holland's Voltorb came back a 9. 
got coughing at an 8.5 here. Larvitar at an 8.5. Magnemite, Gem Mint 10. And last card for this box, we got a Makuhita at a 9. Very nice. So we're going to keep on trucking. Moving on to the third box of this video. Eighth box in the series. Alrighty, we're still in the EX Delta species. We got Meryl coming in at a 9. Again, EX Delta species had a lot of really, really cool artwork. I wish they would go back to a lot more of this realism style, showing Pokemon in their everyday life. Uh, Gem Mint 10. Don't get me wrong, I love all the new Vs, Vmaxes, and all that. Really cool artwork to blow up on the card, but sometimes it's just simple artwork, man. Gets me every time. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Poochiana came back a 9. Porygon. Oop, there he is. Porygon coming in at a 9 as well. Ralts Rev Hollow came back a 9. Sandshrew came back a 9 as well. Slowpoke. 9 on that guy. Star U came back a 7. Another Star U at an 8.5. Talo at a 9. Weedle, classic bug Pokemon, at an 8. 8.5 on Zubat. Gonna go through the next ones a little bit quicker. They're the trainers, so we've seen a lot of these already. But these are set specific. So we got Dual, dual Ball at a Gem Mint 10. Great Ball at a 9. Holland Farmer at a 10. Holland Lass at a 9. Holland Mentor at an 8.5. All of these cards were super great at the time for playability too. So a lot of these Holland cards, you had to just cut a card from your hand in order to play them. Uh, this one lets you set your deck for three basic Pokemon that have 100 HP or less, show them to your opponent, and add them to your hand. Now because of that, you could go grab those Holland Magnetons and the Magnemites and all that that counted as energies. So it basically worked as a really good way to search your deck for energy too. Uh, Holland Research Shower came back a 7. Holon Researcher came back a 9. Holon Ruins came back a 9. Holon Scientist, another really well-played card back in the day, says if you have less cards in your hand than your opponent, draw cards until you have the same number of cards as your opponent, which with that discarding a card from your hand cost makes it pretty easy to get that way. Next card was a very, very big card. Uh, still is a very big card in the retro formats. Uh, Holon Transceiver. Search your deck for a supporter card that has hole in its name, show it to your opponent, put it in your hand, Search, shuffle your deck, or search your discard pile for a supporter card that has hole in its name. So, lets you grab a hole in supporter from your deck or discard pile. Very, very effective card. Uh, Master Ball came in at 8.5. Super Scoop Up came in at an 8. Potion came back an 8 as well. Switch, Gem Mint 10, super cool. Darkness Energy, awesome, came back a 9. The Holon Energy, Fire and Fighting, came back a 9. Holon Energy, Grass and Lightning, came back an 8. Holon Energy, Water and Psychic, came back a 9. Metal Energy, came back a 9. And now we're getting to some of the really cool stuff, too, from this set. Now we're moving on to the EXs and the other goodies. So, our first one is going to be Flareon EX, came back at a 9. Very good card in playability and collectability. Uh, Jolteon. EX came back an 8. Another beautiful card. 
Vaporeon EX came back at a 9. And here's our next super cool card. Groudon Gold Star came in at an 8.5. Super cool looking card. I love the way that these Gold Stars look when they're just reaching out of the frame like that. Gorgeous foil all over the card. Very nice. This next one's actually a really cool special treat. We have a Kyogre Gold Star 7.5. Uh, now, as of the filming of this video, according to some research that we've done, uh, this is currently a population one card in the 7.5 grading, meaning this is the only one in existence, which is super cool to know that I get to hold it. Um, both this and the Groudon are both all pushing above 1500 easily in these conditions. Super cool cards. Last gold star, Metagross, and he's got a swirl to him. Came in at nine. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And the final card of the set. Azumaru. Secret rare. 8.5. Super cool little guy. And that was the EX Delta species. Now we're moving on to EX Sandstorm. So another great set in the EX era. Starting off with Armaldo. Super cool card. Cacturn came back at a 9. Cray Dilly, 8.5 with a swirl. Super cool. Dust Clops came in at a 9. Flareon also got a 9. We've been doing pretty good on this set so far. A lot of 9s. Jolteon. Beautiful card with a swirl. Ludicolo. Another Niner. Lunatone. Got a swirl right next to his head, too. That's pretty cool. Mawile. Got an 8. Every time. Sableyes. I swear. Sableyes always look so pretty. Especially in foil. This guy just looks amazing. Oh, that's exciting. And the next guy we got is the Viper. This is another really, really cool artwork that I like. That he's uh, got like a mid-action shot going on fighting the Zangoose. You know, roast me in the comments if I said the wrong name there. But, you know, Mongoose versus Snake. Classic tale as old as time. The rivalry for the ages. So, we finished up that first row of Box 8. We're going to move on to the second row. A lot of really, really cool goodies here. We're going to keep on going. Got a shift tree. Another cool looking artwork. Got some moonlight coming up from that upper left hand side of the art. Very nice piece. Soul Rock. Oh, looks like I get to answer my own question about that. It's the Viper. Zangoose it is. 8.5. Very cool looking card. Now we got some non hollows from. Sandstorm, we got the Arcanine coming in at a 9. Got this Espeon that came in at a Gem Mint 10. Beautiful card. Got the Pichu, came in a 9 as well. Umbreon, also got a 9. Vaporeon, also a 9 from this guy. Cyndaquil, Gem Mint 10. Eevee, got a 9. Gem Mint 10 on the Growlithe. He looks pretty cool, just kind of hanging out and vibing in the house. Pikachu came back at a 7. I'm going to move on to some of the uh, EXs in this set. First one is Aerodactyl EX, came back at a Near Mint 9. Beautiful looking card. Really, really cool artwork. Again, this like little retro 3D style. I'm a big fan of that. Agron EX came back a 9. Also, the e-reader style on the cards looks fantastic. Gardevoir EX came back at an 8. Kabutops 
8.5. Got a little swirl on them too. Super cool. Raichu EX got a 9. He's got a swirly as well. This guy, next guy is a really, really cool piece. Typhlosion EX Gem Mint 10. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful card. So excited that we got that one. Next set of cards, we got Whale Lord EX. Came in at a 7. And that's going to be it for the EX Sandstorm card. Now we're moving on to e uh, Expedition. <clears throat> Arbok got a 9. Reverse Hollow. Butterfree got a 7. Cloyster got an 8. For Alligator, got a 7 as well. It's cool looking Gengar coming up. Got a 9. Beautiful looking card. Really creepy looking. Golem got an 8. Kingler got an 8 as well. Machamp, 1 8 for him. Magby got an 8. This is one of my all-time favorite artworks from Mewtwo. Beautiful, beautiful looking card with that uh, lightning in the background. He came back on an 8.5. Nine Tails, a 8.5 as well on that one. Pichu came back in 8. Super cool artwork. Seems so happy getting the frolic and the flowers and all that fun stuff. Very, very cool looking card. Pidgeot came back at an 8 as well. Polyrath came in at a 7.5. Raichu came in at a 8 as well. Really, really cool star type effect. Rapidash came in at an 8.5. Very cool looking artwork on that card with all the steam kind of flowing around him. Typhlosion came in at an 8. Tyranitar. Man, you can barely even tell this card is hollow. It's very easy to miss this because the artwork itself is not holographic. And the border itself, the best way you can tell is in the weakness and resistance. And that symbol right down there. So hard to see that foil. Weezing, Gem Mint 10. That's actually really, really cool. Alakazam. Got a 9 on that one. Eight point five on the Arbok. Very cool. Blastoise, eight point five. Butterfree came back at an eight. Here's a gorgeous card. Charizard came in at an eight in reverse hollow for this guy. Super exciting. Easily like a three four hundred dollar card. Pharaoh came back at 8.5. Creepy Gengar again. Welcome back. Came back a 9. Golem, 8.5 on that guy. Kingler, 9 on him. 8.5 on this Machamp. Meganium, got a six. Poor little guy, that's our first six in a while. Other Meganium came in at an eight. And he's the last card of our box eight, actually, as well. Move that box out of the way. So what are some of your guys' favorite cards that we've seen today? Gotta say, um, it is very hard for me to pick. I'm a huge fan of the Mewtwo's and the Mews. I'm a huge fan of all the legendary dogs. But, I don't know. This, this era of Pokemon was such a unique thing and such a big part of my childhood. Um, it's really hard to pick any one to be my favorite. 
Um, if I had to say, I gotta say with a Mewtwo hanging with the uh, lightning in the background, super gorgeous card. Which, speaking of the Mewtwo, got its counterpart here, got the Mew, came in and at 8 from Expedition. Gorgeous card. Rapidash, 8.5. Venusaur came in at a 9. And that is the last card of our Expedition series. Moving on to the next series, we have EX Team Magma versus Team Aqua. And we got our first card here. Is Team Aqua's Cacturn. Next card, Team Aqua's Crawdot, Gem Mint 10. Team Aqua's Kyogre came in at a 9. Team Aqua's Manetric, also a 9. Team Aqua's Sharpedo with a Swirl, 9. Team Aqua's Walrein, 8.5 on that guy. Team Aqua's Agron came in at a 9. Team Aqua's Claydol, also a 9. Really cool how they did the uh, dual energy type in this set as well. They had him as Dark Psychic. Team Magma's Groudon. Really, really cool looking card. Came in at an 8. He's got a Swirl though, so pretty cool looking card. Team Magma's Houndoom came in at a 8 as well. Really, really cool art on him. Team Magma's Rhydon came in at a 9. Team Magma's Torkoal came in at a 9. Let's see, we got Raichu came in at a 7. This adorable Bulbasaur came in at a 9. Pikachu came in at a 9 as well here. Ah, one of my favorite artworks of Squirtle here. This is the Japanese, like, cherry blossom style artwork. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Moving on to some of the fun things from this set. We have some of the EXs now. Starting off with Blaziken EX coming in at an 8. Fraydilly EX coming in at a 9. Entei EX coming in at a 9 as well. Raikou EX coming in at an 8. Septile EX coming in at an 8.5. Suicune EX coming in at a 9. Looks like there's a swirl on him too. Super cool. Love this EX borders on this e-reader. So pretty. Swampert EX came in at an 8. Fantastic artwork on this Absol. Came in at an 8.5. Very, very cool. Jirachi came in at a 9. Gorgeous artwork. One of my favorite artworks for Jirachi. Flareon Reverse Hollow came in at an 8.5. Almost called that guy Flareon EX. We've already done him, though. Jolteon, Reverse Hollow, came in at a 9. Arc 9, unfortunately an 8.5. Espeon came back at an 8. Umbreon, also an 8. Vaporeon. Looks like we got a 9 on that guy. Eevee came back at an 8.5. Sleepy Growlithe, 8.5 on that guy. And Pikachu. Looks like we got a 9 on the Pika. Very nice. That's going to conclude the EX Sandstorm series. 
Now we're moving on to another one of my favorite sets, is Neo Revelation. And this is very special, because we got some first editions here. First edition, Amphros, 8.5. Beautiful card. Blissey, first edition, with a swirl. Gorgeous artwork. Celebi, first edition, 8.5. Beautiful. Crobat, first edition, came back a 9. Hidden swirl in there. Deli Bird with a swirl came in an 8. Oh, here's a big boy. First edition Entei with a massive swirl on that guy came in at an 8. Super cool card. Easily pushing that like six, seven hundred range on him. Oh, oh, with a swirl. Beautiful card. First edition came in at an eight. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Houndoom Hollow came back an eight as well. Jump Pluff came back an eight. Gorgeous. Magneton came back an 8. Mysterious, 8.5, first edition. Porygon 2 came back an 8. Gorgeous looking card. Ooh. First edition Raikou with a swirl. Is that a swirl? I can't tell. It's a false swirl. False swirl, everyone. Eight on that guy. Beautiful looking card. Gonna get our next round of cards set up here. We're starting to come to the close, guys. We're on the second half of box nine out of ten boxes. Massive, like, 980 card submission that we just got back. Next up is Suiku. Came back a 8 on his first edition. Got a little false swirl on him, too. Aerodactyl. Came back a 9. Celebi. 9 on that guy. Entei. Came back an 8. Ho oh, oh. Gem Mint 10. That is awesome. Super pretty card. Kingdra, gem mint 10 on that guy. Lugia, got a 9 on him. Gem mint 10 on the Raichu. Super cool looking little Raichu too. One of my favorites. Raikou, we got a 9 on that first edition guy. Skarmory, got a 9. Sneasel. We've got a 9 on that guy. Really cool artwork here for the Starmie. Came in a 9 on that first edition guy. Sudowoodo, first edition, gem mint 10. Suicune, gem mint 10 on that. Awesome. Alright, a couple of the big boys now as we finish up Neo Revelation. And uh, if you're very familiar with these sets, you'll know what we got. So, first up is Shining Gyarados, 8.5. Beautiful, beautiful card. First edition. Very nice. That card's easily pushing two grand. Shining Magikarp coming in at an 8. Beautiful little card. Now we're moving on to Neo Genesis. A lot of really cool cards in this set. So we got Amphros coming in at a 9. Set up for the next run. Azumar, 8.5. Blossom, a 9. Baraligator came back an 8. Second Feraligator came back a 7. Heracross came back an 8. Jumpluff came back a 9.
Kingdra came back an eight. Ooh, here's a big boy, guys. This is a very exciting one that came back. Um, didn't quite get up in the upper grades like we were hoping. However, still a really cool card. Lugia, 7.5 first edition. Uh, even though it's still got a 7.5, it's still a great grade regardless. Um, first edition, these guys have been just soaring in price. Uh, beautiful artwork on this card. I love the just blue and red and translucence going on in the background there. A little bit of a false swirl on this guy too. Um, easily close to $2,000 for that guy. Meganium came back an 8. Another Meganium had a 9. Pichu, 7.5 with a swirly swirl. Skarmory came back a 7.5. Low King with a swirl. Now, this Slow King, back in the day, caused all sorts of trouble when it came to the playability of the game. So, its power is called Mind Games. It says, whenever your opponent plays a trainer card, you may flip a coin. If heads, that card does nothing and put it on top of your opponent's deck. Now, that seems pretty mean in and of itself. But now imagine you have two or three of these things out. Every time your opponent tries to play any sort of trainer, you get two to three coin flips. Just to be like, nope, you don't get to do that. It's a very, very evil card. <laughs> Steelix Gem Mint 10, a beautiful, beautiful card on that first edition. Togetic came in at a 9. Gorgeous card. Here's another really, really exciting card that we got back. Typhlosion, first edition 8.5. Gorgeous card. Very, very expensive card. I think those pushing the three to four thousand range. Uh, this Typhlosion, a little bit more affordable. I think he's in that like five to eight hundred range. Now we're moving to some of the other goodies. We got Metal Energy. We got a Pikachu. We have some of the secret rares now, the shiny versions of the cards. 7.5 on the Drifloom from Stormfront. Vol uh, we got Duskull next at a 7. And Voltorb at that 7.5. And then we're going to move on to the next set, which is going to be Platinum. First card, we have an Amphros. 8 with a swirl. Blastoise came in at an 8 as well. Beautiful rainbow on that card. Looks super pretty. Gorgeous with that foiling. Blaziken came in at a 9. Really cool artwork on him as well. Delcaddy, 8 with a little swirly. Dialga, with an 8 on him. Super cool looking card. Another Dialga, came back an 8 with a swirl. Another Dialga, 8.5 on this one. Gardevoir, came in at an 8 on this guy. Super cool that it's just chilling at the lake in the middle of a forest. Very, very gorgeous artwork on that. Giratina came back a 8.5. This Giratina is by far my favorite of the two. That gorgeous holographic mood in the background. Looks super cool. Fantastic artwork there, guys. And the last card of Box 9, Manetric, came in at an 8. A little bit of a swirly on him, too. Looks super, super great. All right, guys, we're coming down to the close here. We've gone through nine boxes of graded cards, if you've watched both videos. This is the final bit. Don't know if we have anything super big in this box, but I'm excited to find out. So many, so many cool cards. Um, I still think our biggest hitter was the Legendary Collection Venusaur, Reverse Silo. I think that was our biggest card that we got back. Sure, all the gold stars are super cool, but I still think that guy was just... Mm. 
Palkia G came back an eight. Rampardos, eight point five. Shaman got an eight as well. Hedgehog form shaman. Now we got our flying shaman. He got an eight. We have not been slacking in these videos. 8.5. Again, pardon the Pokemon puns, but hey, you know, maybe some of you like that. Dialga, 8. Drapion Level X with a swirl came in at an 8 as well. Giratina Level X came in at an 8. Palkia G Level X, also an 8 on that guy. Shaman Level X came back an 8. Another Shaman Level X, 8.5. Now we're on to some of the really cool secret rares in the set of Platinum. So we have Electabuzz. Basically what they did is they uh, reprinted uh, these Pokemon from base set to look exactly like the originals. Some updated art, just some subtle differences. This guy looks pretty good. 8.5 on him. Hitmonchan, secret rare, got an 8. A little bit of a swirly on him. Scyther, also got an 8. Now on top of those secret rares are actually the shiny secret rares, if you will. Uh, first up, we have Lotad, 8.5. Pretty little card there. Next up we have Swablu. Came back on the 7. And the last shiny there is Bulpix at an 8. Moving on. That is the end of the Platinum uh, set. Now we're moving on to Rising Rivals. First card in our Rising Rivals is Arcanine. Gorgeous card. Beautiful little swirl on him. Next up, we have uh, Bastiodon. Came in at a 9. Dark Ride G. Came in at an 8. Gorgeous artwork on that one. Another one of my favorite arts from that set. Uh, Floatzel GL. Came in at an 8. Flygon. Came in at an 8 as well. Frostlass. 8.5 on that guy. Let's see, Jirachi came back a 9. Lucario came back an 8.5. Luxray GL came back at an 8. Miss Magus came back an 8.5. Rampardos came back an 8. And Roserade, seven on her. Him, them. Gorgeous card. Shiftry came in an eight. Nice little swirl on that guy. Blarion. Very, very pretty looking card. Jolteon, next of our Evolutions, one of my favorite lines. And Vaporeon finishing it up at an 8. Gengar, Reverse Hollow, came in at a 7. Glaceon, 8.5 on that one. Population 1 on this. Another one of those cool little rare, just low population cards. Moving on with our Evolutions, we next have Flareon, 8.5 on that. Super cool. Moving on, we have some of the level X's from Rising Rivals. We have a Near Mint 8 Alakazam level X. We have a Floatzel level X as well. Flygon level X came back at an 8. Glade 8.5 with a swirl. Hippowdown, 
came back at an 8. Gorgeous card. I love how the sand and such extends into the borders. Uh, Infernape got an 8. Oh, uh, this next card. Real, real big part of the meta back in the day. This was played in Lux Chomp. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Luxray GL Level X 8.5. Gorgeous card. One population on this guy as per our current records. Miss Magius Level X came at an 8. Snorlax came back an 8 as well. The Secret Rare Pikachu came back a 7. The Secret Rare Flying Pikachu came back at an 8. And the Secret Rare Surfing Pikachu came back at a 7 with a little swirly on him. Next up, we have the Fan Rotom. 7.5 with that beautiful, beautiful Shatterfoil type holograph to it. Same with that Frost Rotom. You know, when I was younger, when I pulled those cards, totally didn't think they were real cards. Just because I'd never seen anything like that foil before, so it really threw me off. wonder how many other kids that happened to. That couldn't be the only one, right? Next up, we have Heat Rotom, 8.5. Mo Rotom, got a 9. Which I failed to mention, we are on our final row here, ladies and gentlemen. Wash Rotom, got a 9. Sharon's Choice, that beautiful shadow foil on that trainer. Supreme Victor sets now. We have Absol G, Gem Mint 10, beautiful looking card. Driftblim, 8.5. Garchomp with a swirl, 8.5 on that guy as well. Let's see what's next. We have Rayquaza C, came in at a 9. Rhyperior, 8.5. Venusaur came back at an 8. A little swirly on him. Next up, we have Charizard G. Gorgeous looking card. Came back an 8. Absol G, also an 8 on that one. Blaziken Level X came back at a 9. Charizard Level X came back at an 8. Electivire Level X came back a 9. Garchomp Level X 8.5. Cynthia's Rayquaza Level X came back a 9. Moving on to the next round of the level X's here. We got the Straptor. Straptor? Pardon if I uh, butchered that one. 8.5 on that guy. And then we have some of the secret rares from the set. Super cool. We got the Legendary Birds Articuno. Mole Trace. And Zapdos. Now, a cool thing about the three legendary birds, very, very common fact, but some people may not know it. The three legendary birds, there's Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Uh, the last couple letters of their names are all Spanish for one, two, and three. So, Uno in Articuno means one, Dos in Zapdos means two, and Trace in Moltres means three. Three legendary birds. Moving on from there, we're going to Supreme Victors. We have Melodic, came back an 8. Relicant, also got an 8 from our Shiny series. And the Yanma, also a 9 on that one. Moving on, we have Platinum Arceus now. 9 on our Charizard here. 8.5 on the Frostlass. Heatran comes in at an 8.5. Kabutops got an 8. Luxray, Gem Mint 10 on that one. Ooh, look at that. 
Fancy. Motham got a nine. Robo pass eight point five. Salamance came in at a nine. Swallet eight point five. And Tangrowth eight point five on that one as well. Home stretch, everyone. Last run of cards. Here we go. Toxicroak came in at an 8. Zapdos, also an 8. Gengar, 8.5. Another Gengar at an 8. Some of the level X's here. We have Arceus level X came in at an 8. Arceus level X, 8.5. Arceus level X got an 8. Gengar level X got an 8 as well. Salamance level X got an 8. Tangrowth level X 8.5. And on to our shiny series from Arceus. So we have Bagon, or nope, Platinum, apologies. Got the shiny nine. Ponyta got an eight. Shinx got an eight as well. And the last couple cards here. Here we go. Arceus got a nine. Another Arceus. Grass type got a nine. And finally, last card. Arceus fire type got an eight. Overall, very beautiful collection that came in. So happy that we finally got these back. Like I said, we've been waiting for this collection for quite some time. And now that we've gotten it back, man, was it worth the wait. So once again, all of these cards and many, many more can be found on our website, which is ce-101.com. And feel free to browse the rest of our site because you can find other cool limited merchandise such as playmats, backpacks, other cool merch, and always feel free to message us if you have any questions. And with that in regard, thank you for joining us on another edition of Collector's Edition 101. Class is dismissed.